We have here the Nothing Phone 2A. I was very, very excited uh, when we got the news that they were going to release an A series device. Now, uh, it came with some disappointment. Um, I think a few weeks later, actually, it was uh, maybe a couple months later. Uh, maybe, I think we found out what, three months ago, four months ago, five months ago, something like that, whatever, that they were going to release an A series. We found out one month ago that it was not going to be released in the U.S. Oh, damn it. What a bummer. So I thought I was going to have to grab one on eBay. Uh, thankfully enough, they sent me one. So very, very appreciate, appreciative of uh, Mr. Pay and the Nothing Company. I am a very strong supporter of the Nothing devices. Now, I missed out on the Phone 1. The developer program was available for us here in the United States. However... Uh, I was a procrastinator and I was like, yeah, I'll buy one. Uh, uh, you know, I'll get one. I loved it. The first minute I saw it, I was like, I got to get that. Fell in love with the design from the very first uh, series. And I procrastinated. When I was finally ready to pull the trigger, I went on their website to purchase the phone one and it was sold out. <laughs> so I said, not this time. I'm going to make sure I jump on it and get one. So Got the phone 2A here. Now, this is the phone 2 in my right hand with uh, that's turned on in the 2A. So, we got the flagship model and the um, A series model here. And we will compare, should be relatively similar in size. Um, so, let's go ahead and see what we got inside the box here. Now, this is not some exorbitant. Um, uh, uh, a box and you know well i guess it's average size i shouldn't say that look check it out their first box was was like a square foot it was like 12 inches uh wide uh by or 12 inches long by 12 inches wide so that's why when i got this i was like huh pretty small box but i was thinking about it just right now i was like you know what my s24 ultra came in a box the same size so uh let's see how do i know i can rip it right here but i don't want to rip it does this have plastic on it it does not no plastic cellophane as you can tell the knife goes in there nice and easy i guess that's the only way to open it huh well i guess we'll go ahead and do it There's the tab. And here is the device. Got a quite a different camera setup. Um, let's see, is that all that comes in there? No, I chose this one was I chose it without the case that they gave me an option and I told them, nah, I don't need the case. Just send send the phone. And there you go. <clears throat> so. Welcome to nothing. Well, isn't this exciting? Moments like this are why we are here. That's anticipation to get started to unlock something new. Thank you for being a part of our world. Here, your voice can be heard and your creativity celebrated. Use with nothing on Instagram and X for a chance to be featured. Trust and believe I will hashtag a clip of this unboxing with um, hashtag with nothing. And it says help build the future by joining nothing.community. I am in member and uh, probably need to get on there a little more than uh, I have been but very cool website very cool small niche community if you love uh, technology if you're a nerd like I am and you love technology but design you're gonna love this phone these phones because that's what nothing is they are technology based but they're doing things um, with Phenomenal designs. Uh, just absolutely phenomenal designs. Okay, I'll shut up. I know what y'all are thinking. I'll shut up and open this up. So it does come with... Ooh, nice. It does come with... 
Oh, I've, I was going to order one of these, honestly, and I'm glad I did not. Look at this. Those are cool because they're like they're like see through. Very cool. Very, very cool. Let's see what else we got. I'm assuming there's no charger, obviously, but I'm assuming you get oh cool, you get a sim ejector. Now see see what I mean about their uh their designs. I'm trying to find the right word to describe it, but I really can't. They're just it's different, but a good different. Right? So I have a see-through sim card sim tray ejector right there. Put that to the side. I believe that's it. No charger, but that's normal, unfortunately. You got your little safety book nobody reads. And I think that is it. Cool. Now, let's open this sucker up. Wow. I love this design, man. Whoa. Wow. Holy shit. Damn. I don't think I've ever... I definitely have never had a phone. Obviously, this, but there's something else. And I think I know what it is. There's something else different with this phone. Um... That other phones just don't have. Beautiful design. Absolutely gorgeous. I think it's I think it's a combination of a couple things. Look at the back here. So here's here's why immediately right off the bat, um, it feels like no other phone I've I've ever used. Not even this phone. It does it it does not even feel like the phone two. The phone two is considerably uh, heavier than the 2A. Now, this is a flagship phone, right? It's got a metal uh, mid frame, the metal border all the way around. Um, and this is not, but look, this is white all the way around. Because most phones have a metal mid frame, like your Samsung devices, um, your iPhones, um, the OnePlus phones all have the metal border. Uh, uh, excuse me, like the, the brushed aluminum metal border. This is painted. This is white. So right off the bat, that's my first, uh, first thing I noticed. Second thing I noticed, how light it is. It feels like I'm holding a, a, a paper uh, plate. <laughs> in my hand like a it's very light very light and the other thing that right off the bat is the curved edges on the back make this a joy to hold in the hand huh yeah, absolute fits in your hand perfectly. Now, look at the back here. See how it's now. This is a completely flat back, but do you see how the sides are curved? The right angle, right where the the right angle where the back meets the side, they, they meet at a point. Well, instead of a point, it's curved so it it just fits in your hand perfectly so you got a microphone up top you have a microphone at the bottom there you go that's the sim tray ejector usb type c power speakers Power button here. I love how they went um, opposite 
contrast opposite color and put the black buttons in there. I love how they did that. Again, we just mentioned there's that mic up top. And then on the right side, you've got the power down and put the volume, or excuse me, volume down, volume up. And you have 250 megapixel shooters, 250 megapixel camera sensors on the back. Same as the phone too, 50 and 50. Um, and here's another thing that's similar. The 32 megapixel front facing selfie camera is the same one that's on the phone too. Um, so should be a very nice experience. Um, it's very light. I absolutely love it. What do you know? This comes with a screen protector. This is very important information. Not many people are going to tell you this, uh, but you hear it here on Eastim Studios. We cover all the fine details that you are interested in. This comes with a screen protector. Uh, companies used to do this years ago. And even Samsung, right? Samsung, no, I don't think Apple's ever done that. But Samsung, they used to come with screen protectors, OnePlus. Um, everybody, basically, for a good three, four years. Or, uh, I'll say about three years. And then uh, they just stopped doing it. And it's been that way for the last few years, right? But this one, now it's a film. It's not glass. It's film. But look. see it cool can't even can't even tell it's on the phone now there is a little different white right or the color is a little different now the official color for this is milk right it's like a cream color so the official color for this is milk the official name for the black one is black but the but this is milk color for the 2a and this is white for the 2 so you can tell there is a slightly different shade and color with the 2a on the left and the 2 on the right should be the same this is a 6.7 inch display 6.7 inch display if y'all can give me just a moment i have to uh open the door hang on same size Basically the same dimensions. Right, look. You know what? I'm gonna get to something here in just a second. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> what is going on? What is up? Also, uh, we have... Can I share? Let's see. I cannot share uh, my Instagram browser, but uh, Freedom Kev joined us. Um, who else? Le Lele J80 and All I'm They joined us. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a beautiful phone, um, Kev. It's a beautiful phone. And I'm going to get with you on our uh, little side thing uh, here short. I've Dude, I've been so busy um i'm creating 
in the process of creating uh, two websites and uh, also the application versions of those websites. So whew, I've been very busy, but yes, I, I, I got you and uh, I'll get with you when this is when this live is done. Let's go ahead real quick and let me go ahead and turn it. Oh, I was going to say, you know what I think? You know what I think they did? And this is not a negative. This is not, uh, I don't think it's a bad thing. In fact, it's actually probably a smart thing, uh, especially business-wise. It's so similar to the phone too, as far as all the ports. All the ports are the same. Look, everything lines up, everything matches up. So the SIM ejectors are right there, the SIM trays sit right there, the microphone sit right there, the uh, USB-C plugs are right here, the speakers sit right here. The volume down, volume up are in the same spot. The microphones are in the same spot. The power buttons are in the same spot. Now the only thing different, well I should say only thing, but visually wise the only thing that's different is the camera placement right um but they're the same size now this one's lighter the 2a is lighter right because it has less metal in it this one's heavier but um you know what i think they did here's here's what i think nothing did um and again it's not a negative in fact it was probably the smart play i think this was if it wasn't a prototype for the two it was certainly a alternate design for the phone too. Meaning like this design was probably in the running for, cause you know, these are, these phones are uh, constructed and planned for years in advance, right? So the phone too has probably been in the works for the last few years and I, I think this is what they did. I think the phone too, meaning the design, um, minus where the camera, well, no, I think this very could well of, if they did not release this, they meaning they could have settled on this being for the phone too. Now, they, it has a different processor, yes, and I think the UFS storage is um, a, a model older, right? But I think this was a candidate for the phone too and when they were thinking about putting out an a series a little cheaper series they were like well why don't we just put out the uh design x or uh design y for the a series because i'm sure they had all the schematics already there they had all the prototypes already there because they manufacture a, a, a number of prototypes and they actually use them. They pass them around in the boardroom meetings and they go home with them. They use them, see if they like them. And uh, so they can get their feedback, right? So I think this was a candidate for the phone two that they just released for the phone A, uh, for the Ray series. And again, that's completely fine. And they look beautiful. Let, um, let me go ahead and turn this on. Now I might take that screen protector off. It doesn't get too um, let me turn, can I turn on my flashlight? Let me see where my, where my camera battery is at. Yeah, I can. Hang on. Yeah, it didn't really give that that good of a look, huh? There's a little there's a little light. <clears throat> That's a good thumbnail picture right there. I will have to snapshot that. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn this on and see what the glyphs look like. There's your boot animation. Let 
It's so light. It feels like you're holding a piece of paper in your hand, honestly. And maybe it's because I'm used to... Maybe it's because I'm used to holding the S24 Ultra. <laughs> I'm using that as my daily driver. So maybe that is why this feels like a piece of paper. But um, it's very light. Even compared to the two here on the side, very, very light. So we're going to skip the mobile network. I do have Google Fi, but I'm actually the overhead camera uh, is the S24 Plus and it's got my Google Fi SIM card in there. But I am going to do, don't worry, I'm going to do a bunch of videos. I'm going to, um, I'm going uh, to test service because that's the number one, probably the number one concern with um, this device. If you're in the United States is the service because Verizon, I I think there's one band, one 4G band and one 2G band that work on this with Verizon. Uh, so that's basically unusable, right? AT&T, I think there's like two or three bands, meaning uh, cell towers, they have different frequencies they send to your phone. 4G has like three or four bands. Uh, each uh, 3G, 3G, 4G, and 5G each have... Two to three bands, right? Maybe four. Um, and AT&T out of those, you know, total of eight or ten bands, only two of them work for AT&T. So that's kind of not really usable. You can if you really want to. But T-Mobile, out of the ten bands that they offer, I think this covers, uh, air, excuse me, out of the eight or nine bands T-Mobile offers to its mobile service subscribers here in the, in the United States, this covers most of them. I think it's missing one 5G and one 4G band, but it picks up the other other two, right? Other two or three. And the main one, the main, the number one, their biggest frequency with the 5G, their newest, most powerful 5G frequency, this picks it up. So you should not have any issues. Uh, maybe if you're out somewhere, you know, outside of the city somewhere, um, you may have cellular issues, but here um, in America, if you're in a major metropolitan area, you shouldn't have any issues. Now, T-Mobile works for this. I'm gonna put my password in off, um, off camera. T-Mobile works with this as well as all of the smaller MVNOs that run on T-Mobile service. So Google Fi will work perfectly with this. Um, I had a list on our last live stream of, you can Google, it now Visible runs on Verizon, that will not work, right? Now Metro by T-Mobile, obviously Metro will work on here. Mint Mobile will work on here. Uh, what else? Uh, we can Google your carrier. If you're not sure of what carrier you have, you just Google it. So if you have Visible, you can who owns Visible or who whose service does Visible use, and that Verizon will pop up. But here's a good deal: you can basically get this phone, right? Because it's only three hundred forty nine dollars, and you can get one month of service with Google Fi for like twenty bucks. So you can basically get this phone service for less than four hundred bucks. That's a steal. This is. Dude, this is uh, just unless something drastic happens, like it gets very sluggish, <laughs> which I don't expect, or the cameras are just utter trash, which I don't expect. I would not recommend this phone, but I have a feeling it's going to be buttery smooth and the cameras are going to be suitable. Look, it's not going to compare and compete with the S24 Ultra, right? With the iPhone 15 Pro, but I think they'll be good enough to use right i think it's good enough to snap pictures and send to your sister right or take a little funny video and send it to your dad right oh corvette dro drove by uh, you know something like that send it um i think this would be perfectly fine Yeah, screw it.
Now, if you purchase it in the United States, oh, by the way, shame on me. If you're interested, uh, if you really want this phone uh, and maybe you have visible, uh, which is Verizon, which will not work on here, come on over to Google Fi. Myself, a number of our subscribers are using Google Fi and everybody loves it. I mean, I haven't really had anybody say uh, they dislike it. I get phenomenal service. It's cheap. Uh, I pay as you go, right? Pay for what you use. Come on over to Google Fi. We have a link in our video description. Um, that'll get you a discount. And the plans start as low as 20 bucks a month. Can't beat it. You really can't. And you you do everything from the uh, Google Fi app. So easy. You can get an eSIM. You can get a physical SIM. Whatever you want. So... Here in the United States, they sell it under the quote-unquote developer program. Now, I think that's a cover just because for whatever reason, the MediaTek chip that's in here, the modem in there doesn't pick up all of the U.S. frequencies, which we just got done discussing. So I think they had to use a cover, right? Like, And I think they're like, well, we'll just sell it under a quote-unquote developer program, right? Um... And that's one of the things I was interested in finding out right now. Is this good? Does this have to run on their on their beta program? Let's find out. So these are pre-selected. The experience improvement program. I think that's a new one. I don't really think I've heard of it um, uh, uh, mentioned that way. User experience program. The program collects product usage data to improve our products without infringing upon privacy. No, thank you. <clears throat> system stability program. Join the system stability program to help us troubleshoot nothing OS faster. Um, I might leave that on. And then nothing notifications. I'm leaving that on. Actually, you know what? I'm going to, I don't think, hold up. So if you want more in depth coverage, it's all right there. It says. So they collect user behavior data configuration data statistics nah I'll pass on that one but I'll do the other one so I like how they have them everything nice and neat right here because some of the other ones are so long like they're like pa like pages long you just don't even want to read this one's easy to uh... this data will not be associated with any personal identification recognition okay so they're not going to you can stop sharing through the following methods. Okay, so this has nothing to do with the uh, software as far as uh, beta stuff. So I'm gonna deselect. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna select that second one. I am gonna do notifications. And uh, my cat. I got to attend to here. Yes, I know how to use the phone. Hang on. All right, where were we? We definitely want that acted activated. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to go with the, uh, I want to go with the default Android because that's what I like. 
but I know everybody wants to see the nothing theme. You can always switch it later in the settings. So I'm gonna go with the nothing theme so everybody can see how that looks. And there you go. Now there is an update. There is a day one update in the background that I am going to download, right? Now tomorrow, I got a bunch of videos in the uh, in, uh, here in the near future, starting tomorrow, releasing on here. There's a day one update for this device. So we will, I'm not gonna do it here. I'm actually gonna get off here in a minute, but we're gonna download the update. We're gonna see what's in the update. We're gonna install the update. We're gonna test the Google Fi. Uh, I'm going to go run some errands tomorrow and y'all can ride, uh, ride along with me and we will test uh, the service out on here all around town and see if that is an issue because I know that's probably the number one minus the CPU, right? Um, minus the CPU. It's it, Those are the two major things that may prevent... Uh, people from purchasing this device. So that's why I'm here. That's why they sent me the device is to record and put out as much uh, information on this device as possible and just give you fair and honest reviews. I'm not going to uh, make this out to something it's not. If it sucks, I'm going to tell you it sucks. Actually, when this first came out, I did not like it. And I said, I, the video is still up, actually. You can, you can go back and check. I I did not like this phone when it when it first came out. I just didn't. The camera sucked. Um, the software wasn't on par to where I thought it should be. And my God, it went from a phone that uh, I disliked to one of my favorite phones probably of all time. It's in the top five for sure. Uh, I love it so much, I can't get rid of it, uh, honestly. Um, and I hope if this even come, uh, gets to half of what of what this is, it's a success. Uh, that's high bars. I don't think we're going to reach this level, but it could. Um, but we are going to record and put out the content and let you be the judge. I will record and show you my findings, and then y'all can... Make the decision for yourself. I'm not trying to sell. Uh, I'm not nothing's uh, uh, spokesman here in the United States. I just was sent a phone and I'm going to test it, right? So let's see. Experiment. So this does not have. So this does not have. Um, beta software you the haptics are freaking amazing on here it's just like the phone too the the the, the vibration motor so let me see can i get these to light up for y'all before i get out of here Damn it, man. I'll have to sign in probably to do all the good stuff. Let's see if I can do it now. That just raises or lowers the intensity of the lights on the back you can it's got three settings a uh, low a medium and a high and then they activate look you can go in here we'll do the uh i'll do the review later but just quick uh, uh real quick um you can set it 
to shine and um, activate on notifications. Um, you can flip to glyph to silence the phone uh, when it rings you can get a text message when you call an uber when you have a countdown timer it'll that'll act as a uh arm on a watch but just to be 100 percent clear um this is not i just want to make sure if this because remember on the phone one it did come installed with beta software to everybody that purchased one in the United States. This one looks like it does not have beta software. Um, hang on, let's see. It actually has nothing OS, sorry, nothing OS 2.5.1a. What is this on? Battery's almost done. This one has got nothing OS 2.5.2 .2 on the right. It's hard to see. Battery's almost dead. The display, I think the display looks better on the 2A, to be honest with you. The whites look more white on the the new phone on the left, the 2A. Um, now, the battery is almost dead on here, so maybe in, uh, you know, trying to conserve power for the display. But the display on the left looks better. Wow. So let's see. So uh, this one is on uh, this. The phone two is in is on beta software. This is already a developer. So I will go over this tomorrow and we will get a good good idea of uh, 321 megabytes. So it's a decent size um, update, right? It's gonna, damn, I can't get that to focus. It's gonna have a decent amount of stuff in here. Got bug fixes, you got general improvements, you got software enhancements, camera enhancements, right? Which I'm um, sure I'm gonna love. So. Yeah, so it's it's a very uh, visually appealing uh, device, right? Uh, my first impressions were, if you're just joining us, what's up, Bama fan? Uh, my first impressions were, wow. <laughs> my second impressions were, damn, it's light. It feels like I have a piece of paper in my hand. It's very light for being a big device. And um, the third thing was how comfortable it is in your hand. Now, as I sit here, I think the fourth thing that I'm noticing is how nice the screen is. I'm going to charge this a little bit. We'll do comparisons tomorrow. And again, I'm going to go around town and test the, the service. And uh, we'll do benchmarking. Uh, we're going to do battery tests. We, we, we got all sorts of stuff going on here. Uh, I'm going to get up some case reviews to do. But yeah, so I guess that'll do it. Um, I got to run, but I do appreciate the time. And if you're just joining us, I think I got into this maybe about 30 minutes ago. I, we did the first half of the show where I did some news on the um, uh, Galaxy Z Fold 6 FE and the $800 price on there. And uh, what else did we do? Um, Apple is actually... Uh, kowtowing, bowing down to Google and is actually in talks to let Google power the artificial intelligence on this next generation iPhone. Hmm. So there's a little trolling going on there uh, for Apple. And then what did we get? Oh, the Pixel 8a just went, just, just got um, 
to pass through the FCC. So that was getting close to a launch date, but um, bringing it back to the phone 2A, speaking of A-series, I promise I didn't mean to do that, it just happened. I wanna know if this is a better device for you, for you, right? For the majority of people. The Re49, we just got news today that the Pixel 8a, the price is going to increase to 549. Do y'all remember when, didn't the three, the 3a started at uh, 349? If I, if I remember right, it was under 400 bucks, I know that. And look, it's, it's ballooned up to another 200 bucks, right? So that's a huge difference. And they're in the same class. Now the 8A gonna have a much smaller screen. Six, what is it? 6.1. This got 6.7. Same size as this phone two. Same size as the S24 Plus. Um, but very light. But $200 cheaper than the Pixel 8A. Now yes, the Pixel will have the better camera, right? But oh, this one looks so much nicer. This one looks so much nicer, <clears throat> but um, that's the decision you're going to have to make if you get the Pixel 8a or you get this, right? It also depends on what carrier you have. As we said many times, T-Mobile should be fine, but all other carriers. Now, again, if you have a Mint Mobile, Google Fi, all those little carriers that run on T-Mobile, you'll be fine. But what if you have Verizon, right? Um, visible. AT&T, probably not going to do so well in here. But um, I think I have some SIM cards laying around that uh, I can throw in here and we can test them out. Um, wrapping this up, beautiful back des uh, uh, design, but that shiny top right section right there kind of stands out. I don't, I think that's the NFC, but I'm not sure. NFC, no. Huh, I'll have to look into that more. Uh oh uh oh did i have a glitch you know what i like to do i think the update's gonna fix that i heard somebody say on their uh community page that it was glitchy when they got it and then it was uh they did the update and it was buttery smooth so i'm gonna uh download this update and we will uh run this back tomorrow with obviously more news but um um, I'll take some camera samples here. I'll update the device. Did y'all see that? Was it a little, um, hang on. Let me do the, it was a little glitchy, no? But look, if the update fixes that, then no harm, no foul. That's what the update's for. All right, so I turn off. <laughs> And get in developer options you hit the build model what seven seven eight times and then it gets you into this little uh secret setting page <clears throat> 12 gigs it's only using 3.3 now i tradition oh cool look at that you see that i've never seen that before a performance mode so we're in developer options we're in the ram section Developer options in the very first option, RAM. You select that. You get your normal usage statistics, but check this out. There's a performance. Ooh, what is that? Oh, you can't change it? Oh, it's just telling you that everything's good, I guess. I thought that was a toggle. You could put it on like super fast RAM. It's supposed to have RAM expansion, but I don't, I'll have to check to see. Let's see here. What I like to do is turn off animations. That'll tell you if it gets glitchy. That's a good way to test the phones that you know may not have enough power to handle. What the hell? You can use a stylist on here. So, what I like to do is, I know my S... My S24s should not be glitchy, but on, um, you know, phones that are considered budget, the Pixel A series, the Motorola phones, 
Um, now, I guess this phone is I go in, I turn the animations off, and then I start using the phone to see if it if it uh, sluggish. Everybody's different. I like mine off. Okay, so those are off. Hmm. Seems fine so far. Are y'all noticing anything? <laughs> Ah, very good point. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, you bring up a really good point. So, RAM expansion, I have it activated on all my phones now that more devices are starting, you know, to offer that. But all of the newer flagship phones, you're correct, all have newer UFS storage, which directly correlates to the RAM expansion. So you can actually activate more RAM on your device. Now it takes, this has 256 gigs of RAM, I mean, <laughs> 256 gigs of storage. Um, and you can allocate a certain amount, I think up to eight gigabytes of that 256 and essentially move it over to your RAM. You, your device can use the extra eight gigs from your storage as RAM read uh, random access memory. Uh, now this has 12 gigs, plenty, right? Plenty. Um, but he a uh, very good point that you, if this has UFS storage, what 2.2, which means it's may not be able to handle the uh, at least not to the best ability right of the ram expansion because what it's doing is switching between storage devices right it's using the some of the uh, ssd in here to essentially act as uh, your ram memory so it's constantly having to go be between the two storage devices um, the devices like the S24 series, they all have brand new UFS 4.0 storage. Um, you know what kind of bummed me out? The Pixel 8 series. The Pixel 8 Pro only has UFS 3.1 or 3.0. And 4.0 has been out for a year. So, um, yeah, 12 gigs is more. I was only concerned about that because I didn't know if I was going to get the 8 gigs of RAM uh or the 12 gig version <clears throat> thank god i got the 12. Uh, pretty pretty nice actually you know what i don't remember seeing that no i didn't look for it i guess i could search for it So there you have experience improvement. No, that's not going to do it. Memory. Can y'all see? It's kind of a uh, fuzzy here. You know what it's doing? It's focusing in on the back. There we go. That's what we were in earlier. Son of a... Can't be so close, I guess. Memory tagging ex extension. Never heard of that. Uh, makes it easier to find memory safety issues in your app and make them yeah. 
Interesting. So I don't see it. Um, Ram ex expansion, I was told it has it on here. Maybe it's activated once you do the software update. I'm just not sure. Not in, wouldn't be in storage. Anyways. Man, that's hard to beat. That's hard to beat for 349. hard to beat so all right guys i have to get up on out of here i uh i will check y'all later and again thank you to everybody in india pakistan um indonesia where else where else was that check this out i got a i'm on i'm trending on google uh, not google on apple podcasts in pakistan and where is this let me take that banner off. Um, Podcast eSim Studios is number 32 in Apple Podcast Rankings in Pakistan, the Philippines, and 132 in the Philippines. Thank you, everybody that's listening over there. I really appreciate it. Um, I know y'all are really interested in the, in this device, uh, especially those of y'all in India. That's a hot spot for nothing. It's a hotspot for Google. I know Apple just opened up uh, a huge manufacturing plant there in that part of the world. Um, and y'all are big fans of nothing. So um, I will keep the content pumping for y'all. And uh, I do appreciate y'all listening. I'm going to upload this audio version to my podcast channel right now. So you can take us anywhere you go on all, all podcast platforms, not just Apple. Uh, what'd you say with you? Uh, let's see. Yeah, Pixel, yep, Pixel 8 Pro is 3.1. I know when I saw that, like, God dang it, man. There's always something, right? There's always something. Whatever it is, there's not a perfect smartphone. There's there's just not. There's always something. There is always something. All right, brother, take care. I'm going to get out of here. It looks like most everybody left anyway, so it's right around that time. So I really, really, really appreciate y'all. Thank you. And um, I'll get with you on the back end and um, you have a good day as well. Thank you very much. For the Nothing Phone 2A, peace out.